A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words. Yet the word you hear is not mine, but that of the Father who sent me. I have told you this while I am with you. The Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. Not as the world gives do I give it to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You heard me tell you I am going away and I will come back to you. If you love me you would rejoice that I am going to the Father for the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it happens so that when it happens you may believe. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Peace I leave you, Jesus says. My peace I give you. Not as the world gives peace. The world peace seeks personal comfort. The comfort that comes from doing whatever I want to do and that which makes me feel good without any scope of morality or boundaries to guide her. Regardless of how it affects our neighbor, this is the peace of the world. True peace is not being without war or conflict, but true peace is the spiritual wellness of Jesus Christ abiding in us, which raises an army that transforms war into peace. The peace of keeping Jesus' word is where all this germinates. If you love me, you will keep my word, and my Father will love you, and we will make our home in you. We see this in the gift of the Incarnation, Jesus keeping his word as he enters Mary. Jesus keeping his words as like her, we say yes. We say yes to Jesus' words and strive to keep that word. This is where our peace begins, an internal explosion of charity and humility because peace has entered, because we have accepted his word being so close to him and making his way our way, the way, the only way we accept that works for us, the way of Jesus Christ. And so we strive to be living icons of Jesus. By baptism, St. Paul says, Christ lives in me. And so the power and the grace of Christ is in us through baptism. Christ lives in me. That's the stuff that saints are made of. We're icons because, well, because of our flawed humanity, 
we don't on the exterior always reflect Jesus. The icons are sort of distorted, and, but they show us an interior reality. And here he is, the word in us, Jesus. By baptism, God dwells in saints before saints dwell in heaven. Isn't that interesting? He's already there in you. We just need to say yes, like Our Lady. And then we have the peace of reconciliation. A vital step in the peace of reconciliation comes with the incarnation, where the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, God literally condescending and entering into our lives, getting involved in our lives personally. The sin of Adam and Eve is undone by the incarnation of Jesus Christ and opens the floodgates to reconciliation because he is the word made flesh, the word made flesh to reconcile God and man and bind them together in an intimate unity that he had planned. The incarnation bringing this union together causing all the celestial beings, all the angels and saints to cry out glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. And then there is the peace of the sacramental reconciliation where Jesus invites his prodigals to come home. where the peace of being reconciled with our heavenly father brings us a serenity we never understood before. The peace of casting off lies like the lie that I don't need God. The peace of casting off the arrogance that my way is better than God's way and being reconciled to his way, he who is the prince of peace. It's the peace of leaving the confessional feeling lighter and unburdened and even great interior joy. And then there's the peace of death. Yes. I'm sure of what I've hoped for and certain of what I cannot see. This is where the peace of death is and the confidence that Jesus' word is maintained. I told you before it takes place. The peace of Jesus coming to us personally, and it has been, body, blood, soul, and divinity in the Eucharist. The peace of preparing a life by striving to please God brings a peaceful death. The peace of Jesus' patience in our struggles. The peace of longing for heaven as we grow older in years, not to become depressed, but to become ever more curious about passing through those gates where the Prince of Peace will receive us. The peace of Jesus' promise where he says, I will come back to you. There's a great icon of peace right here in this church, all the way in the corner. You have a, a statue of Mother Riviere, the founder of the Presentation of Mary's Sisters. If you think we have it bad today, you should have been with her at the French Revolution. If you've done any reading in history, you know how horrible a time it was. It literally broke the back of the Catholic Church. You think we're struggling now as a church. In a time where the church was being heavily persecuted, priests and religious were being guillotined, 
Mother Rivier started a community to take care of little girls and educate them. Her life on the line. I was told uh, by Father Rick, who knows a little bit more about her, that that statue is probably the proper scale because she was a petite woman, barely four feet tall. And yet, God worked great miracles through her. She was compelled by the Holy Spirit to carry on, even in the midst of all the social and religious unrests in her time. She literally crafted a harbor of peace in France for the education of those who are in most need. She's iconic of a person who is inflamed with the peace of Christ. The presentation of Mary's sisters had a long presence in this parish. The place where the office building now is used to be their convent and they still maintain a presence today. When I think about Mother Rivia, I think in short in stature, with many afflictions, perhaps with faith then, we can also be crafters of peace as she was. But it must begin by being a crafter of peace in our relationship in our personal relationship with Jesus. Regina Jenny, letare, alleluia, qui aque menuisti portare, alleluia, resurrexit sicut dixit, alleluia, Ora pro nobis Deum, Alleluia.